Palmer is pinning this all on economic growth. When he was asked about the 20 billion uh, black hole in terms of the, the spending cuts that are coming to unprotected departments within the next couple of years, how Labour is going to pay for them, he's saying, well, it, we'll, find the, we'll find the money through economic growth. But that isn't something that's necessarily within his control. It might be something that he desperately wants. It might be something you want, I want. Everybody mm. wants to see a more prosperous country, right? But in terms of what Labour can actually do to support that, well, at the moment, we've only really got two measures that they've announced in terms of reforming planning laws, because, of course, the Tories sat on that. They didn't do anything because of their own backbenchers, mm. building 300,000 homes a year. And then there was an interesting article about bringing in dynamic alignment for certain industries uh, post in regards to Brexit that got mm. shut down as a result of Brexit, huge amounts of paperwork. Rachel Reese talked about the chemicals industry, mm. automotive just industry. following EU rules. But, it, but it's not just EU rules now, it's EU, EU rules in the future mm. as well. You just sign up to the EU Become rules. Become a rule taker. Yes, and you just accept the rules and then that takes away the paperwork. The EU mm. don't need to fret about it and you just, you just plough on mm. with that and the hope is that that could lead to some economic growth as well. Of course. But it's a gamble. It's a, ga a huge gamble. A, a gamble and limits the amount of sort of regulatory freedom that you have here in the UK. Shall we just take a look at what Jonathan Ashworth yes. was doing earlier today? It was quite extraordinary. Let's have a watch. This is the Tory manifesto, utterly shredded by, Mr. by Jeremy Hunt. <laughs> Well, that was the Tory manifesto being shredded. I've got a copy of the front page of it here, but Jonathan Ashworth says that this should all be uh, shredded, mainly because uh, Jeremy Hunt seems to have spent some money twice. Yes, and it, it was a sort of Ed Davey-type press conference, Labour just trying to get in, and they're calling these emergency press conferences now mm. as this war back and forth continues to try and muddy the waters. And this, is, this comes, this story Labour think they've got onto here comes from a, 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 a leaflet um, that uh, basically Jeremy Hunt was posting through as he's fighting this, as he's fighting for his constituency, uh, which mm. says it's a newsletter to constituents last week, uh, which said, uh, and I'm quoting here, that the tax cuts in his party's manifesto would be funded by savings from an enormous back to work uh, programme, which I announced in the autumn statement last year. Now, mm. Mr. Ashworth is claiming that this is a quote unquote bombshell revelation uh, because he's saying that such cash raised uh, from the proposed benefits cuts had already actually been accounted mm. for, as, as announced. Uh, in November. Well, I want to take Mr Ashworth's logic and <laughs> apply it to some of these other uh, manifestos, because of course Wes Streeting said on Sunday that the manifesto, the Labour manifesto, the front page of which is here, yeah. is not the grand sum total yeah. of what will be taxed and what will be spent in a Labour government. So I suppose it's perfectly legitimate <laughs> to do an Ashworth to the Labour Party manifesto. But then we come to Reform UK. They launched their manifesto yeah. today. This was wild. <laughs> Th this had a huge amount of spending cuts, taking every estate below £2 million yeah. pounds out of inheritance tax, raising the tax threshold to £20,000. Do you think it's credible or do you think it's one for the shredder? Uh, probably for the shredder. Probably First for the shredder. shredder. There we go. Goodness me. I suppose they've got the luxury of campaigning yes. to be in opposition. Yeah. The Green Party. There's a, there's a huge, uh, yes, that, that's got some fairly big figures in there that haven't necessarily been accounted for. I think you probably put that one in the shred. Yeah, I think it's got the largest amount of spending increases yeah. of any of the manifestos. And then, then we come to the Lib Dems. We can't forget about the Lib Dems. I'm amazed this hasn't been through some sort of assault course. For impartiality's sake, I think you probably put it I think I think Ofcom would be, would be on our backs <laughs> if we didn't do that. So there we go. Uh, what was a bunch of grand manifestos, I think, now stands in the shredder. Thank you, Jonathan Ashworth, for the inspiration. And thank you, Theo uh, Ashworth, for, uh, for talking us through all of that.